Welcome back to yet another interesting video on our channel. I feel like right when I'm working on my mental health because of what I'm going through, now this, the actress said while crying. Tia Maori is left in tears and nearly speechless after learning the results of her routine mammogram. In People's exclusive, first look at the upcoming episode of Tia Maori, my next act, the 46-year-old actress is riding in a car with her assistant Sayara when she gets a phone call from her doctor's office. We got your results back in from your mammogram and your results have come back abnormal. The woman on the phone explains as Maori's jaw drops. What that means is that we'd like to schedule you to come in for a biopsy as soon as possible so we can get some further insight. Um, I don't know. Hold on. I'm sorry, Maori replies. Oh my God. Stunned by the call, the sister, Sister Alam says she would call back to schedule her biopsy as she tries to process the health scare. I don't want you to worry too much, Shara tells her. Let's just get the appointment on the books and see. I feel like right when I'm working on my mental health because of what I'm going through. Now this. Another situation, Maori says, bursting into tears. This is my health. I have been doing so much to take care of my mental health. The actress adds in a confessional. I've been meditating, I've been journaling, but I'm scared. I don't know what to expect. As her assistant tries to console her, Maui shares that her grandmother died of cancer five years ago and her aunt died of cancer one year ago. Let's not jump the gun. Jara stresses. They didn't say that you have cancer. Let's not self-diagnose. When we're in a situation like this, I'm always gonna be that sounding board. Get it out. It's better out than in, Sierra says in a confessional. She has an amazing team of doctors, a very well-rounded team of doctors, and there's no need to worry. Taya Maori, my next act airs Fridays at 9.30 p.m. ET slash PT on WeTV, with new episodes available on AMC's streaming service ALLBLK. Actor Corey Hardrick is breaking his silence about the toll his divorce from actress and entrepreneur Tia Maori took on his mental health. The couple's separation became public in October 2022, when Maori announced on social media that they were ending their 14-year marriage and over two-decade-long relationship. Their divorce was finalized the following year. Actor Corey Hardrick is breaking his silence about the toll his divorce from actress and entrepreneur Tia Maori took on his mental health. Related, the mecca of fashion, the top street style moments at Howard Homecoming. The couple's separation became public in October 2022 when Maori announced on social media that they were ending their 14-year marriage and over two-decade-long relationship. Their divorce was finalized the following year. Despite the split, Hardrick and Maori maintain a co-parenting relationship for their two children, Cree and Cairo. Since their breakup, Maori has openly discussed her journey into singlehood, sharing insights and experiences on social media and in interviews. In contrast, Hardrick had kept a low profile regarding the split until recently. While attending the American Black Film Festival to promote his new project, Tyler Perry's Divorce in the Black, the 44-year-old actor shed light on his mental health struggles following his breakup with Maori. During a panel, Hardrick revealed how stereotypes about black men and mental health led him to suffer in silence. The All-American Homecoming star explained that societal expectations of unwavering strength in black men made it challenging to express his emotions openly. This struggle intensified as Hardrick grappled with the end of his marriage to Maori and how it would affect their family dynamic. It's tough when you're going through something alone, and no one understands. No one's there for you. And it's just like you know you're a man, especially a black man. They be like, you know he tough, he's strong. But you know I was a year and a half crying myself to sleep every night. Nobody see that, he said. You live five minutes away from your babies. You know what I'm saying because people who know Corey Hardrick know that his kids and his family was everything to him. As the discussion drew to a close, the actor reflected on his journey noting how the challenging experience had ultimately strengthened him. So it's like I'm stronger than I thought I was. I'm really stronger than that. By the grace of God, it's like I'm here, and I'm still going, he stated. Hardrick's honesty about his post-breakup struggles can be viewed as commendable, 
because sharing his experience may inspire others to speak up about their own challenges and seek support when necessary. Tia Maori is no stranger to receiving a misdiagnosis. She recently shared her fight to find the proper diagnosis for her eczema. Unfortunately, that's not the only medical. After spending her 20s experiencing debilitating symptoms, the actress finally received a proper diagnosis. The 43-year-old revealed in an interview with Today Parents that after years of doctors ignoring her discomfort, a gynecologist eventually diagnosed her with endometriosis. I was not being taken very seriously when it came to my symptoms, the Sister Sister star said in the interview. You know your body more than anyone. You are the one living with what you're going through day in and day out. Don't let anyone tell you that something is not wrong with you. Maori went to a specialist after a friend suggested she get another opinion, and the gynecologist was finally able to diagnose her. She's a black woman from Harvard. Maori says of the doctor that was quick to listen to the symptoms. Maori says her doctor realized right away that Maori was experiencing a classic case of endometriosis. Maori said at first, she couldn't even pronounce the name of the condition. It was something that wasn't talked about, but she told me how she knew was my symptoms. I'm a black woman, and I was in the age range. I was basically a textbook story. Endometriosis is a condition where tissue develops that looks and acts like normal endometrial tissue, the tissue that lines the uterus, but it develops on the outside of the uterus. The tissue can grow on other reproductive organs inside the pelvis or in the abdomen. Because the tissue acts like normal uterine tissue, it will break down and shed inside the pelvis during the menstrual cycle. This can lead to inflammation, swelling, and scarring of normal tissue, according to Hopkins Medicine. The disease affects up to 10% of American women between 25 and 40. Endometriosis symptoms include painful periods, discomfort during sex, difficulty getting pregnant, discomfort going to the bathroom, pain in between periods, heavy bleeding during your period, and random bleeding or spotting. There is no cure for endometriosis, but doctors will often prescribe birth control pills, Lupron injections, a medication that calms the hormones and ovulation, or surgery to remove endometriosis implants or ovarian cysts. Alyssa Dweck, MD, a New York-based gynecologist and author of The Complete A to Z for UV previously told Prevention. Though the diagnosis came as a relief for Maori, she felt frustrated that it took so long to find a doctor that believed her, and that was able to find the source of her pain. I experienced four or five years of debilitating symptoms, she said. Why didn't the other doctors I saw diagnose me if I was a textbook story? The diagnosis was especially important when Maui began to see a common side effect of an endometriosis diagnosis infertility. That didn't keep her from trying. She was determined to become a mother and worked with her doctors to eventually become pregnant with her first child. But she says the pregnancy wasn't all smooth sailing. When you have endometriosis, you're prone to having an ectopic pregnancy because of the scar tissue, she said. With my firstborn Cree, I was experiencing excruciating pain after getting pregnant, and that was a fear that the doctors were talking about. It was a time Maori felt very alone in her journey. To help other women understand that the path to parenthood isn't always simple and linear, Maori partnered with the baby brand Cautery for its Becoming Parents campaign. I don't want people to feel or go through what I went through with being diagnosed and trying to understand what that means, she said. The more awareness and stories we share, the more people won't feel alone or discouraged or depressed. As part of the campaign, Mary is encouraging more conversations around alternative methods for becoming a parent. The more we talk about our own stories, the more we get rid of the stigma that comes along with IVF, surrogacy, sperm, and egg donation. There are amazing ways that families become families. Today, Maori is the proud mother of two children, Cree and Cairo, who she shares with her husband, Corey Hardrick.